of America wants health care reform. My name is Jim Duff and I'm the executive director of the uh, Campaign for Better Health Care. Uh, proud to be here this morning with another slice, a uh, very important slice of America. Uh, the backbone of the economic engine that drives this country. Small businesses, large and small. Hospitals and doctors, clinics, and 72% of Americans are calling on Congress to enact affordable, accessible, guaranteed quality health care for everyone. It's time to stop playing politics and fear mongering and solve the health care crisis. Health care will be affordable, it will cost less and cover more, and it will be a uniquely American solution that will give you, the peace, people, a peace of mind of knowing that you will always have quality health insurance. Healthcare will also give you the right and the freedom of choice to be able to choose to stay with the same health care plan that you have, be able to choose a, another private plan, or to be able to choose an affordable, quality public health insurance plan. Health care will finally, health care reform will finally stop insurance company abuses from denying health care to people who've had illnesses five years ago. CPHC believes in affordable, accessible, quality health care for everyone. Health care is the key to economic security and opportunity. We're in it together. We believe in shared opportunities and shared responsibilities. Next, I'd like to introduce some small businesses who we're proud of them taking time off their busy schedule to be able to uh, say some remarks about the current health care crisis and uh, what uh, needs to happen here in the, the Champaign-Urbana area. First, I'd like to introduce uh, Paul West from the owner of Cafe Kobe. And uh, thanks to Dr. Kessler for the space and to the uh, um, Campaign for Better Health Care people for hearing my voice and uh, my story. My name is Paul West and I've been the owner of Cafe Kobe for over 10 years. Kobe is a little coffee house downtown, open since 1993. Uh, for most of our 15 years, we've been able to offer the option of medical insurance coverage for full-time employees, but recently we canceled this insurance program due to rising expenses. Um, each year, a small business must trim expenses and invent ways of attracting customers to stay ahead of competition. This past year, with our sales affected by the flagging economy, rising dairy and grain prices in our constant battle, with construction and parking problems downtown, we decided to cancel our health plan, a relatively large expense that wasn't vital to our operation. Though much of our staff is comprised of young people, I personally feel that health care, uh, health coverage is important for everyone. We had a handful of employees enrolled in the HMO for years until premiums rose out of reach. We switched for a few years to a PPO, another company, which was cheaper. But now, not only do these young employees lose their coverage, they also lose what used to be a major incentive for staying at the cafe. See, uh, small, most small businesses simply don't offer this type of plan, uh, but they would if it made fiscal sense and if there was a program to make it affordable. Uh, maybe this could be achieved by giving me choices for insurance and choices for health care. I don't know all the answers. I only make coffee for you. I do know that I'm tired of political games where in the end, nothing gets accomplished. It has to stop and we must solve this crisis now. I also know that any measure must arise through an agreement between legislators, uh, public, providers, government, businesses, and insurance companies. We are all in this together, and we all have to share in responsibility. I support this reform, and I encourage you to join me in asking our representative, Tim Johnson, to a town hall meeting to hear public concerns about our health care system. I thank you for your time and attention. My name is Josephine, and I'm the Downstate Organizing Coordinator for Campaign for Better Healthcare. There are several businesses that couldn't be here today because of busy schedule and other conflicts that support the movement for healthcare reform. One of those businesses is Karen Michael, and she asked if I could read her statement. She reads, I have been blessed to own my business since 1980 when it started off with just me. I am the sole proprietor with no real way to paid employees at this time. However, as I consider expanding my business due to an increase in demand, I am not sure if I can afford to hire staff and treat them the way I would want to be treated. What I mean is that a dream, or any job, should have everything you want, but at least everything you need, especially good health benefits. When I think about hiring staff, good health benefits are not negotiable. 
However, the shopping around that I have done just to cover myself lets me know that I can't afford to hire and provide coverage for anyone else. I thought owning my own business would allow me financial freedom. However, I have found that the American dream painted by our government is not set up by our government to be attainable. As a single mother, my business has supported my two sons and I through a lot of tough times. I am grateful to Illinois for the All Kids program that helps provide for just about all the health care needs of my children. However, what, what about caring for our children's caregivers? What happens to them if something happens to me? Even the recent expansion of coverage that allows children to stay on their parents' health care plan until they are 26 brought me some relief. However, considering I am not insured now because I can't afford the cost, what good will that do them if costs continue to rise and I am uninsured after they are 18? There is no way I can afford dental and medical benefits for my employees. And my research into medical coverage through an insurance company has let me know that there are no competitive prices. They are all charging outrageous prices. I am not looking for a free ride. I would be willing to pay something, contribute something, and even everything if it was affordable. Owning a business has always been part of my American dream, but there are some in political positions that must not feel like the American dream is for all Americans. Americans deserve better than this. Business owners deserve better than this. Single mothers deserve better than this. And our children, my kids, deserve better than this. I am asking Congressman Tim Johnson to support health care reform and to stand united with our community. Support changes in our health care system and take the opportunity to join us on July 25th for a town hall meeting. Please hear us. I am asking for all of our elected officials, especially Congressman Tim Johnson, on behalf of myself, on behalf of other business owners, on behalf of those that desire to own businesses, but most of all, on behalf of my children and future generations that stand to inherit what we don't accomplish now. Do something while the opportunity is at hand. My name is Mary Jane Gore, as I, as I was just introduced. And first of all, I'd like to say I can't agree more with the people that have heard their stories. Um, good job on it. self-supporting artist for all of my grown-up years and um, put off buying health care for many years because you think, well, I'm healthy. I, there's nothing that I, got to, I have to worry about. Um, the decision for budding up an entrepreneur to choose a health care policy is many times left aside, so there are other bills to do on things. I'll, well, I feel pretty good. I'll put it off. Purchasing health care insurance for a while. Then, the amount of time that it takes to figure out what you are getting sold and it is just insurmountable. Who has the time and who really knows what all the paperwork means? In my case, I put it off until I had several thousand dollars invested in my home, and I decided I better bite the bullet because if I got sick that I would possibly lose my home. Um, this gamble seemed not so steep since I was relatively healthy and I had a whole life ahead of me. I married when I was 45. My husband had just lost his job and was looking for, looking into Cope health insurance. He is 12 years my senior and has had some health issues in the past. After the Cope policy expired, we were denied insurance over and over again. But after, excuse me, we came to find out that there's a numbering system for people like my husband and no insurance policy would cover him. He was in the computer as uninsured. After more months than we were comfortable with, we finally decided, or we finally took our case to the state, and we found out, and we and we talked to several insurance companies, and finally we found that, um, that you can finally work your way out of getting that bad number if you've been healthy for a few years. And, but consequently. Our health insurance was $700 a month for the two of us. <clears throat> that's, um, that's a big chunk of change when you're trying to make a living for your 